YouTube, I'm going to do a leopard gecko care video. So to start off, you're going to need a 10 yellow tank for 1 to 2. That would be really stretching it for 2, though. I have 2, but I'm probably going to give them a bigger tank. But they should be fine if you really can't. Or just like set them up in like a tub or something like that, a big tub. Let me get my one out. This one's name is Bandit. You'll see in a second. Here he is. It's a sub adult. I got I raised it from a little guy on this care, so I know that it's the right care. Um, really docile, great for beginners. If you get these like, calcium lump things, my, mine are both males, which I do not recommend keeping together, but I raised them from little. I'm going to end up separating them eventually, but they haven't started hissing or fighting or stressing with each other at all, so, so I'm doing pretty good with them, I think. So you can see those little lumps right there. Those are just calcium deposits. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure they're calcium. I'm not really... That's what all the pet stores told me, so... Um... Uh... They get to be about... 9 to 10 inches long. There's a really good shot of them. Really, really beautiful, docile, tame, easy to care for. With about a 90... 80 to 95 degree... Well, not 80... 85 to 95 degree basking spot. You can handle it in the hundreds. Um, here he is. Pull him back. Real docile, like I said. I got mine for $15, little guys. At Petco. If you have a Petco gift um, coupon, or no, like Petco card, you can get them for cheaper. Well, depending on the pet, pet store. Mine is a Modesto Petco, the one when you get off the pass. And that one pass thing, or whatever, when you the bridge like thing where all the cars are and all that. It's over by the, that one arts and crafts store or something. Not the, well anyways, it doesn't really matter. You can find them all over the place. All of the pet stores are really common. And they're commute, they are very communal. They, they like a little buddy from what I've heard. Um, but they do like males. So you can only keep them together if you're pretty confident in them. And they're, and like, they've been raised from like little tiny babies together. They still might fight or get stressed out. So I, I still don't really recommend it, but males and females, as you find, they will breed, though. Incubation, I don't, I don't really breed them, but you can look up how to, how to, like, incubate their eggs. And, like, perlite, sub, like, perlite, you take the little carton or whatever you want to do to have the eggs, and you put, like, the perlite or vermiculite or something like that in there. Then you put the egg in there and put it inside a little box and, like, heat it to, like, the 85 to degrees or something like that. I don't, I'm not really too big on breeding them. I do want to breed crested geckos since they're way easier to breed. Or way easier to incubate the eggs since you don't need any kind of special heating for them. You just keep them at room temperature for breeding. Yeah. These are really good beginner. If anybody's a first time uh, lizard, I recommend these along with bearded dragons. But if you want something that's a little more out, out of the norm than the bearded dragon, that's what everybody starts off with. Um, bearded dragons are really cool though, they, especially if you get like this hypo somethings or like the fire suns or they have all different types of breeds and names and all that kind of stuff. I mean, all different colors. I like the bright orange ones, my favorite, but they're, they get a little pricey. Same with these, so they, they, you can buy just the common ones for pretty cheap, but they have so many different types of breeds. You can hear my mom talking in the background. Alright, my mom just now walked in and... They're not going to stop talking. Alright. You can hear my grandma talking to the dog and my mom and all that. So reason whenever I do a video, everybody starts walking into my room. So. Alright. But with the geckos, um, there's the pretty easy. I know I always say this in every single one of my videos, but there's not really much more to say. Uh. Alright, so, hope this helps you, YouTube. Oh, and they do, and they're, they are nocturnal animals, so they don't need the daylight or anything. Yeah, or any kind of UVBs, but I do recommend you take them outside sometimes when it's hot out and warm and stuff and handle them. And I will try to make a picture slideshow of these guys so you can see some really nice photos of them. So, but not at the end of the video, I don't know how to do that. I'm new to YouTube. I've only had my channel for like a week or something, a couple weeks. 
Alright, see you YouTube. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.